Rise and shine everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, I'm Dari and today we're gonna watch episode 5 of The Leftovers. A lot happened in the last episode, we had a missing baby Jesus doll, we had the GR breaking into houses and stealing pictures and also we had Tom and Christine on their little road trip where they found a crashed truck full of dead bodies. Yay. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to continue the show and I don't want to talk too much so let's just get into this. <laughs> this is so awkward. Imagine your boss calls you over to have a talk with you and he doesn't speak and you're not allowed to speak. <laughs> What? Okay? Oh, it's a lot of people. What the? <laughs> and now? Oh, wow. Oof! Oh, Jesus! No! What the? Oh! No. No. Jesus Christ, man! Please stop! No! Oh! was way more graphic than I thought the show would get. <sighs> Holy sh... I... Wow. What a beginning to an episode. I... I don't even know what to say. This was awful. And... I'm I'm used to seeing bloody stuff in movies and TV shows. I'm one of my favorite genres is basically splatter and gore horror movies. <laughs> like the Saw movies are my favorite horror movies. But this was hard to watch. Jesus What is the show? <laughs> Like, I'm I'm not over this. Um, I wasn't sure how to react to the scene because from what we've seen from the GR so far, I can't really blame others to hate them. And so I was like, yeah, okay, if they're if they're just gonna tie her up in the forest and just leave her there or something, then. I guess it's still mean, but I kinda get it. But holy, this was far too much. Ugh. I really didn't think they would just keep the camera on it the whole time. Ugh, that was gruesome. Yo, I would totally scream in this situation. 
Oh cry, I wouldn't be able to keep being silent. <laughs> Jesus, what a cut. <laughs> She must be traumatized. She seems like it. Yo, is she having a panic attack? I mean, I can't blame her. Jesus. Yeah, you don't get over something like this so quickly. She looked horrible. just spoke to you about a possible cult related incident. How many shirtless scenes of him are we going to get in this show? Because it's been a lot so far. Not that I'm complaining. I left you a message last night, but I haven't heard back. They just showed up. I didn't know. What? I'm not allowed to leave my own house? How long is this going to last? Oh. Please, hold your question. <laughs> <laughs> the similarities. <laughs> ah. Ah. I think we all can relate. <laughs> Suggested the curfew, and he's here to explain exactly how it will go, Chief. I fully support Chief Garvey. Wow. All in favor of imposing an emergency townwide curfew to start at 8 p.m. effective this evening. Hmm. Well, well okay then. Wow. I mean, I... I can understand. But it's stupid. Of course it's, it's annoying to not be able to leave the house, but... Jesus. It's not like so many people are doing so much after 8pm. Outside of their houses. I mean, of course... Some people go drinking and whatnot. But is it so hard to just stay in your home for a few nights? Just till this thing is solved? I mean, most of us know by now how it is to not be able to just leave the house and do whatever you want to because of the ongoing pandemic and everything. And a lot of countries had curfews or just complete lockdowns where you weren't able to leave the house all day long, except for working and maybe going to the grocery shop. But ugh, Jesus, I can understand if they if they're against leaving the house all day, but it's just a night. Spend the time at home. Go watch some movies or something. The more people work with him there, the quicker this thing gets solved and everything's over. I, I realize they don't care what happened. And they don't care because it was a person, it was a member of the GR. But uh, people like this really make me mad. This is just so stupid. Guess their friendship is over. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> I'll take them in writing. I guess not. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh, I really feel for Kevin. He's just trying to help and nobody gives a shit about everything. Did she ever tell you she had a son? Hmm. No. He was over in Yemen, I think. His helicopter just crashed. His son Oh, says. wow. And as you can imagine, she did not take it very well. 
She questioned her commitment. She became distracted. Oh. And she began to feel again. That's why she's bringing her hair. There was a lot of moping and crying around the house. There can't be any doubt, Lori. Hmm. <laughs> because doubt is fire. Fire is going to burn you up until you are but ash. Wow. Great writing. That was some great dialogue. Oh, not really dialogue, but just speech. <laughs> it's easier to stay silent than it is to speak truth. True. Killing these people is pointless. They don't care because they're already dead. No, they're willing to go to that length. You know, what I want? To prove their point. To bring them back to life. Man, I love Matt so much. She's such a cool character and so sympathizing. If you come back tomorrow, open the door. Oh god, Kevin. <laughs> Chill. Oh, I cannot. I cannot. Open the motherfucking door. Dude has some right serious now. anger issues. <laughs> mistake okay yo he's scared <laughs> understandable <laughs> thanks <laughs> oh god this boy needs some help she's wearing right blah she's wearing white <laughs> hello oh my name is Matt James God, is she gonna break even more now, or is she going to commit even more? I'm not sure at the moment. She's... okay? Is she going? Or is she going to send him away? Okay, yep. All right, seems like she's committing. <laughs> she is happy about that, of course. It's like a big fuck you in his face, oh man. What a mess of an episode. Your mother and I are getting a divorce. I mean, they're basically already kinda divorced. Oh man. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. No. <laughs> oh, I don't want to cry. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. I feel so bad for him. Oh, goodbye, body. Wow, this episode was a mess. I don't know what to feel or say or anything. Um, wow, definitely the most brutal episode so far. I still can't believe they just showed this scene in the beginning. That was oof. The whole episode was just very frustrating. I really feel so bad for Kevin. He's just trying to do his job and he's trying to help two sides of people who don't acknowledge the other side and just don't care and hate and everything and he's trying to help without picking a side. 
which isn't easy because his wife is there <laughs> and yeah and on top of all these problems in his job there's just his private problems stacking on top of that it was so hard to see him break down in the end i i want i want to give him a hug <laughs> and met to all of them <laughs> He's too trying to help and they are just shutting shutting him off. Like I get it, but uh it's just so frustrating to see. This show is amazing, seriously. I did not expect this episode. And everything that happens it's just driving Mac and Laurie too even more into the direction that they are already in. Like, they're committing even more to DGR now. You could really see that Laurie is on the fence here. Trying to decide whether or not she was still able to do all of this. Or if she just wanted to go back to her family. But yeah, I get whatever Patty was trying to do in this episode worked. And it definitely worked on Mac. Because yeah, I guess she's not talking either from now on which is sad because i like Liv tyler's voice but okay yeah i don't really know what else to say about this episode this episode shocked me it made me cry it yeah my emotions were all over the spectrum in this episode i don't know i really enjoyed this i hope you guys did too if you did Please give this video a thumbs up to help me and this channel grow and reach more people. And yeah, if you don't want to miss the next episode and you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel. I hope we see each other in one of my next videos. And until then, have an awesome rest of your day. Bye!